So Nessa girl, I've got a very simple question for you. If somebody push you down on the ground, should you be able to shoot them? That was the conversation and the point of debate that me and a good friend of mine, Todd Rutledge, got into the other day. My friend called me and we were just shooting the shit and we were just talking about various different things. And we got to talking about some situation. Now, I'm not abreast totally about this situation. I'm going to give you guys the conversation and then we're going to have the conversation that I want to have. He was telling me about some instance where a man came out of a store, saw his wife arguing with some man. He pushed the man down. The man shot him, subsequently killed him. And somehow or another, the guy that shot the man got off with the stand your ground law. And me and my friend Todd got into this, you know, circular debate about stand your ground versus you know, should you be able to shoot somebody if somebody pushes you? Let me start by saying this. This is not a stand your ground debate, all right? I'm, this is, that's a whole nother video. We can dive into all that stand your ground stuff. Is it right or wrong, period. This is not a debate about this particular news story in the event that you guys know whatever story it is he was talking about. This is a debate on just simple principles and morals the question independent of stand your ground and independent of whatever this case may be if somebody pushes you down to the ground do you have the right to shoot them all right um this may be the unpopular answer but i say yes um I'm always of the belief that you can't do wrong to a motherfucker and tell them how mad to get. Moreover, y'all, I really don't believe in that walking up to people, putting your hands on them. I just don't. I wasn't raised that way. I never liked it. Um, maybe because I grew up being smaller than the rest of the kids. So being able to exert myself physically every time I got mad with people, I didn't grow up with that being my go-to response. Like I had to learn to fight from being beat up all the time. Maybe that's where my school of thought comes from, but I am just of the belief that you don't put your hands on people. And at the point in which you walk out of your space, and enter into somebody else's space and put your hands on them anything that happens after that you know right wrong or indifferent you brought it on yourself all right now listen i don't have my head so far up my own ass that i can't wrap my head around the fact that pushing somebody down is not the same as you shooting the shit out of somebody. All right, I'm not stupid. I'm a fair thinking person. But what I'm saying is, you on the same token cannot dictate what state of mind somebody is in after they've been violated, okay? You don't know how scared said person may be after they are violated. You don't know what weapon said person may have on them when you've violated them. And so it works my nerves. I'm now, I'll be 35 on August 20th. It now works my nerves when I see my classmates from high school, people I went to college with, people in my age bracket talking about something 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 i beat your ass i beat that bitch ass what she said they trying me like i just really think that we are just kind of at the age where we should be too mature too seasoned and have too much to lose to be triggered by somebody over there 
talking shit to the point that now you want to get up and risk everything you got going on to go assault somebody physically. My friend Todd tried to say, well, Q, you know, somebody like you, your mouth is your weapon. Everybody can't use their mouth the same way you do. And you don't know what kind of emotional, you know, trauma you may be inflicting upon somebody with your mouth. Honestly, I looked at the phone like, Todd, you full of shit. You're reaching. And yes, while I get where you're trying to go and what you're trying to do, it just doesn't work for me in this situation. Like, I just don't ask yourself right now in a calm state what it is somebody has to say to you to make you jeopardize everything you got going on, meaning your job, your freedom, your finances, your family, your reputation, your self-worth. Like, I'm just not really thinking, especially people in public that you don't know. That shit baffles me the most. Like, some of y'all will get into confrontations with people you will never ever ever see again because your ego is bruised or we grew up in such a way where we've got this whole notion of ain't nobody gonna try me they tried me listen i promise you if i'm in a mall i'm walking past somebody look at me funny and say something slick what does it cost me and what do I lose to keep walking? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm really about to risk all I got to turn around and be like, what you said? What you said? You ain't finna try me. Now we in the middle of the damn mall fighting my kids in the stroller being bumped over. It's just like, at what point? I don't know, do you begin to live for, I don't even know why this shit is on my mind right now because I literally was walking to the camera to make the Basketball Wives video, but I've just learned to go with it and this is sitting on me for some reason. Um, when are we gonna get past having to resort to violence um, when we wanna get things done or when we wanna express ourselves like, for me, I really feel like all of this beating up people, pushing people, assaulting people, she tried me, it's learned behavior. You know, we're socialized that way, we're taught that that's the way you deal with conflict, but it's just, imagine if we were taught another way. You know what I'm saying? Like, imagine what the world would look like if when you got mad with somebody, like you went for a swim. Or we, we, we taught people how to channel anger, angst, and conflict in so many other ways. And listen, you know, I know some of y'all smart asses are gonna drop into the comments and be like, you know, that sounds like, that, that sounds like shit somebody who can't fight say, or that sounds like shit that pussies say, or whatever the case may be. And go ahead and get your cheap laugh in. But the reality of the situation is, I don't live in that way, and I don't wanna live in a world that the moment everybody, somebody gets upset, the first course of action is to go fight. Like, I just think that there's just so many other productive ways to channel your fucking energy, especially as I start to get older and as I start to like really enjoy peace, clarity, calmness, tranquility, and the way of life that I kind of got going on right now. It's just like, Lord, it ain't nothing out there, nor another, especially a bitch that I don't know that's gonna remotely make me compromise what the fuck I got going on right now. And maybe I, maybe this is a PSA. Maybe that's the, the angle my spirit brought me from to make this video. But you really gotta just look at all your options and be like, am I really finna run the risk of going to jail over somebody I don't even know. And again, I don't want to tie it to this particular situation with this man and his wife over this parking spot because I don't know that story. 
I can't speak about it intelligently at all, so I won't. But I will talk about shit that we see on World Star that gets us all round up. Folks fighting over parking spaces. Fight folks uh, fussing with people in Family Dollar over who skipped the line. And just all this kind of shit like this. And then you see people rumbling in the damn Bronx. And it's funny because it's like, okay, after the police is called and you don't beat the shit out of this person, now your eye black and a chunk of your hair missing. You don't know where your car keys at. Your kids crying. The police taking your name down. You really have to stop and ask yourself, was all of this worth it? Because this insignificant bitch that I do not know said something slick to me in the line. Like, was all of this, first of all, me rolling around on the ground at this age, was that worth it? Like, y'all honestly, like, when we was younger and, and, and more limber, all that fighting and shit, it was cute, it was hot, it was funny. But y'all, I would be so embarrassed right now at 35 if a video was circulating around with me tumbling and rumbling on the ground with somebody in public. Like that shit don't make y'all embarrassed. And I don't give a damn if I'm whooping ass or getting my ass whooped. Like, bitch, you look dumb. You look foolish. And then like, how do you go to work? and sit around your work people or go to church and try to look professional and it's a video of you inside the Dollar General rumbling around on the ground and your, your skirt all up and coochie ain't shaved and all this other just foolishness that goes on. So I guess the moral of the story, y'all, is think twice. It's rough out here. You don't know what weapons people got in their possession. Stop fussing with people in public that you do not know because these motherfuckers is crazy. You don't know what weapons they have on them and it just ain't worth it. You know, I will say this to y'all, like I said to my friend Todd, again, I don't know the particulars of this situation, but I'm pretty sure all parties involved, the wife who lost her husband and the man who shot the man and killed the man, I am sure everybody and the man that lost his life, I am sure that everybody in that equation wishes they would have taken 10 seconds, taken a deep breath and thought differently. One other point I want to leave y'all with, uh, women, you know, women, y'all out here with this whole a man is not supposed to hit a woman, a man shouldn't be arguing with a woman. And then y'all use that as license to engage in altercations with men. And what you need to understand is ultimately you putting your husband or your boyfriend in a compromising situation when you try to play up or down these gender bias. Um, because now you talking slick to a man this man ain't backing down. You've now put your husband in a situation or your boyfriend where he's got to defend your honor, whatever that means. And now he fuck around and get shot when all parties involved in most situations should just take 10 seconds and be more mature. Um, you know, I, I ain't saying I, I'm above it. I ain't saying I ain't never did it, but I am saying I've grown to a place now where I just don't let shit from people I don't know and people I'll never see again bother me. You can flick me off and, and the, you can, when, when folks pull up on the side of me and they don't cut you off and flick you off, child, I turn up my music and keep, I don't get into that road. You can't do this shit with these people. People is running folks off the side of the road, shooting them up, shooting up their babies. For no goddamn reason, y'all. It's getting dangerous out there and you really just got to prioritize what means more to you. Your ego and that temporary bruise that you got because, you know, Cindy skipped the line or your life, your peace, your zen, and your well-being. And that's my Monday message for today. Now I'm going to call y'all about these messy-ass basketball wives. Bye.